Hello and welcome back to our vlog. The best upgrade that you can make to elevate your home theater listening experience is not investing in an expensive amplifier or building a huge massive powered subwoofer. No, been there, done that. The best way to elevate your listening experience in the most bang for the buck possible is investing in a tactile transducer. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. So watch me and my dad building this tactile transducer to elevate your home theater listening experience. Watch, enjoy. So today we're going to make a tactile transducer out of this subwoofer. So this is a regular 18 subwoofer made in India, solid magnet with an air vent. So I'm going to just cut out this cone first and then I'll show you how to make it. So we have removed the cone. Now we will also remove the dust cap and then we'll have to mount this bolt onto it. Let me show you how. You can see the speaker. Now the dust cap is also carefully opened. Now this is where, now this is our magnet this is our speaker motor and this is where we are going to use it to drive it so now we are going to reinforce this dust cap with this plastic piece so this has been grooved in to accommodate the coil and now we are putting it here and now we will pass the bolt through this see the epoxy hardener quick setting epoxy both the compounds we mix together Watch how the bolt is being centered accurately and uh, watch how Papa carefully pours in the rest of the epoxy. So he's not only reinforcing the location of the dust cap, he's also reinforcing the bolt on top so that it does not move. Now what we discovered is that a full size adult frisbee provides the perfect reinforcement for the tactile transducer cone. So now what we're doing is, you know, uh, drilling out the center so that now this can be mounted as the support frame for the tactile transducer. Note how it is carefully placed over the transducer. Now Papa is drilling out the holes so that the speaker frame can be mounted onto this frisbee so that it, per it provides the perfect support to the voice coil. So the frisbee is now carefully lowered onto the speaker frame and then we used three points where we bolted the uh, you know nut bolt so that then this can be anchored to the speaker frame and also the, the main bolt that we saw which was glued onto the speaker cone is passing through the center and the center is also reinforced. So do this carefully so that the alignment is perfect and then the, the anchor is not acting against the speaker excursion or the tactile transducer bolt excursion. So this is what you need to take care. So center it accordingly. So we are almost done now and it's the time for the first test. Eagerly waiting and there we go connecting it. Wow! Alex Karthana, gunshot. So if you've been observing carefully, you can see the excursion when the gunshots are being played from the movie soundtrack. It's, it's beautiful actually, it vibrates the whole space around it. So that's that's the whole concept of a tactile transducer. So when this is mounted to your couch, it transmits those vibrations into the frame of your couch, in turn transmit, transmitting them to your body. And that's, that's how you feel the whole impact in action scenes. Alright, so now that the first test is successful, it's time to now mount it to the sofa frame. For this you see Papa and me, first we mounted a diagonal member to the under seat of the sofa so that it's, it's transmitted directly to the, the, the base frame of the uh, sofa or the chair that you're going to use. Yeah, And now it's time to wire the uh, speaker connectors permanently Yeah, and uh, after some connecting and then again reinforcing we're going to mount it to the sofa frame. So we are soldering it so that it remains a permanent connection. Mm -hmm. 
as the speaker terminals are quite huge it's taking a lot of you know soldering lead to cover the whole terminal so that's why the delay yeah so now that we are satisfied it's time to route the wires neatly yeah with some cable ties so that the wires also don't move so uh, bear in mind that the whole tactile transistor will move a lot yeah almost an inch of excursion so if you have loose wires hanging they could rattle against the frame and then create an unwanted sound so take care to also route the wires uh, correctly and yeah neatly now observe carefully how we are mounting it so the sofa is laid on the side and this is the underside of the sofa that you are seeing so we are passing the uh, bolt through the hole drilled earlier and then we have a lock nut and a washer on both sides so from the other side we will be tightening the nut and there you see us tired but then enjoying the fruits of this hard labor building a diy tractile transducer from scratch so here we are testing it out with different movie tracks some drum solos a lot of music and so on it has been fun building this i hope you will also try this out attempt it and let us know how it goes if you need any advice don't hesitate to reach out to us so that's acoustic malayali signing off have a great day bye bye